Wait till you see James. He is not like other magicians. He's not creepy. This is gonna be good. Let me show you what we mean. Well, after three years playing the sellout shows in Las Vegas, in Hollywood. This bloke right. has just been announced as Australia's Magician of the Year. You like magic? Oh, come on. Oh, oh, are you serious? serious? <laughs> <laughs> Fascinated guy. Please welcome James Galea. Thank you very much. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. He is the number one magician in Australia now, taking the U.S. by storm. Later, magician James Galea. In the Discovery Channel's Breaking Magic. That what I'm going to do is put my life in the hands of one of you. Because what we're about to do is stupidly dangerous and highly inadvisable. It's the wrong one. Wait, wait, it's the wrong one. Stop it. Stop it. Put your hands over. On the count of three, what I want you to do is watch very closely, okay? Ready? Yeah. Show the camera. Close it again. I did it wrong. One, two, three. Have a look. Here? Two. Try again. Close. Close. Yeah. Give it one more go. How many here? One. And on the count of three, I'm going to make it go, okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Did you see it go? No. No. Oh. Have you got the time? Sir? That's for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Thank you for giving me back. No problem at all. Thank you very much. I don't really missed it. Sustainable. <laughs> you see how that's actually been printed on there? Oh, my God. Keep your eye on the other clubs. If I give it a nice little flick like so, that's when it becomes invisible, OK? Yeah. Yeah. That's when it goes. Just wave your hand over it. <laughs> Is anyone at your 50 pal? We're actually going to get the uh, serial number written down. I'm just going to borrow your notepad. If you can just make sure she's writing the right numbers there, just like sign your name or put a secret mark or something. Watch. <laughs> Come over here. We're going to have a little bit of fun. What's your name? Vic. Vic. At wonderful Bondi Beach, we have something very special standing over here underneath some towels, okay? Come over here for me, mate. Keep your eye on this. It's the right serial number. Is that the right one? <laughs> yeah. Just verify that for the camera and uh, yeah. yeah. Now you should be sweet in about five days. That should be okay for you, mate. <laughs> I've got a present, okay? Um, I wrapped it earlier. This is for you. What I'm going to get you to do is to think of any movie. Is there any way that I could know? No, no, possible. We're going to think of um, every movie that's ever been made. What's the movie you're thinking of? You want me to tell you? Yeah. Forrest Gump. Open up the present. Couldn't be. Horoscope. <laughs> you're thinking of a movie too, aren't you? Yeah, I certainly am, yes. Is there any possible way I can know the movie you're thinking of? No, impossible. Couldn't. Couldn't. There's no way. Open up the DVD, man. What's the movie you're thinking of? You want me to tell you? Yeah. The Usual Suspects. We're going to have a little bit of fun. What I want everyone to see and everyone at home is just so we can see the, uh, the flag over there, what I want you to do is sign your name just on the ball, mate. Watch closely. Keep your eye on the ball. I'll do this as slow as I can. Everyone come in nice and close for me. By doing this, we can actually make the ball invisible, right? The ball I'll do gone. this as slow as I can. Watch closely. Hold on a second, mate. If I place the ball like this, keep your eye on it, OK? Come for a walk, boys. Let's give this a go. As we're getting close, you're going to notice something very odd. Come on over here. I want you to be able to see inside the hole. Have a look inside. <laughs> Have a look inside there, mate. Jump inside. Have a look. Pull out the ball. Someone grab it, mate. Just jump over here inside, mate, so everyone's going to be able to see. Just show the camera so the people can see. Have a look over there, mate. Make sure your name's on that, pal. Is that your name on there? Have a look on that side, mate. Make sure your name's on there as well. And show the people at home. Is that your name, mate? You are a cutie. Magician James Galea. And this is your US television debut. We're thrilled to have you here. I'm You're very, very here. good. All right, you have one more trick for yeah, us. Yeah, I'll show you one last thing. Okay. Uh, people always ask me, do I cheat when I play cards, right? Mm -hmm. and it depends on who I'm playing. Like, if I was playing you, I wouldn't cheat. So I'm going to get you to cut the cards to make sure that there's no way that I could cheat. If the oh. cards are cut for me. And I'm going to tell you a little story, OK? It's one of my favorite stories. I think you're going to like it. Because um, I was actually out the other night. I met up with a couple of girls. Mm -hmm. uh, there were two redheads. I was chatting to them in front of them. I was about one, two, three minutes. I went up with their friends. There were two brunettes. They said, what's your name? I said, it's James with a J. Don't forget that. They said, "Radio James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. They said, come with us uh, to 673 King Street. I said, sounds like a plan. They said, there's a cover charge, though, of 25 bucks. I said, 25 bucks? They said, yep, 25 bucks. You with me so far, Good. <laughs> At this point, 
My phone rang, right? So I cut in my pocket to find my phone. When I did, do you know what I said? I said, hello, James speaking. My friend said, James, where are you headed tonight? I said, I'm not too sure. It's a place called um, uh, 700 and something King Street. Now, the girls knew that was wrong. They said, no, no, no. It's 600. And 73 King. I said, I'm sorry, pal, I've actually got that wrong. It's 673 King. He said, I'll be there soon. He said, a cover charge. Do you remember how much it was, Ellen? 25 bucks. Yeah, he said, all I've got on me is 10. I said, don't lie. He goes, okay, I've got 40, but that's all I've got. Can you lend me some money? I said, no problem. He said, James, you're a good person. Now, at this point, I rock up inside the Warner Brothers studios. Nobody's trusting me, especially you. So you cut the cards for me. Go ahead. And you said, James, let's play poker. I said, sure. What would you like, Ellen? You said, a full house with two fours and three eights. I said, I'll see what I can do. I came over there. Another guy wanted four <laughs> nines, which is a pretty good hand as well, right? You asked me back. You said, James, give me four aces with the eight. I said, okay, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. You went to go take all the money from the table. You thought you'd won, right? And I said, what the hell are you doing? You said, James, you couldn't possibly beat that. I said, the only thing it does, Ellen, is a straight flush. That's what I've got, and that's what I saw. I love magic. Being able to share it with people everywhere is a dream come true. I'm the luckiest person in the world to get to do what I do. It's not lost on me. You want to know the secret? The real secret to living the magic life is to find the magic in everything.